Welcome back to Buildbox Academy and today we're going to take a look at the position limiter node. So I'm going to go ahead and create a 3D world uh, and here we are. So I'm going to dive straight in here and we're going to produce a simple uh, kind of bat and ball and we're going to limit where the bats can go. But first of all I'm going to need some ground for this to go on and we're going to use this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the grass and we need to set this. Uh, so this is going to be our ground. So I'm going to put that in as ground and we're going to make this static because uh, this is going to be for our bat and ball to rest on. So let's go to the asset library and we're going to need a sphere for this because that's going to be the ball and we're going to need another cube. Uh, that should be good for now. So let's get the sphere in here. And I'm going to make that a bit smaller, 0.5 there, uh, and we'll pop in there. And we're going to drag the cube out because this is going to be our, uh, like our bat or our paddle. Uh, let's just name that paddle so we don't get confused. And we're going to adjust the size here. I want that to be a bit thinner like that. And yeah that's looking good uh, let's just tidy this up a little bit so at one we'll put that at five uh, let's move this down a little bit um, in fact i think we want this a bit longer let's do that okay so the plan is to get this bat to move to knock this uh, ball so let's check the physics on here. So that's dynamic. The ground is static and our paddle, we want this to be uh, kinematic because uh, we want to be able to move it and it to hit other objects. But if it's dynamic, then um, it's going to move around too much. Um, so if we play the scene, uh, there is not much going on just yet. Uh, let's just move the camera so we can see everything. Okay, and what I might do uh, before we go on to making things move is just switch that to landscape because then we get an even better view of it yeah perfect so right now nothing's going on so let's make our, um, our paddle actually move uh, so we want the uh, touch move node so if we just drop this in here and we just need to enable it which uh, is simply just linking up the created to the touched node and if we press play there we go so we can see we've already we're already working here but our uh our, car, our bat is all over the place um which is fine but it's kind of it's, it's a bit unwieldy and we want it to just go back and forwards so what we're going to do is we're going to add in a um position limiter so this is going to limit the position of where our bat can be. So if we just hook this up and you'll see it puts in default values of minus one to one on all things. So it's kind of just locked it to this area here, which is no good for us because we can't even hit the ball. Uh, so let's go back into the 3D world. We'll check the coordinates on this. Uh, it's currently at, let's put it at a five and one there and one being the uh, height of it. So we want to move it on the Z axis, which is the blue bit here. So you can see it's highlighted in blue and it's five. So let's go back to the paddle. Uh, we're going to put those at zero. We want the Y at one because that lifts it up and we want to limit it to that. Uh, and this was five. So let's put that five or actually I think five there and uh, let's go two here. So it's only going to be able to move between five and two. Yep, so there we go. So already you can see that's working now. I can move this back and forwards. Uh, I can't move it any further back and I can move it right up to there. Uh, so there we are. So that's our position limiter is working there. So you can change these values. You know, if I put that at zero, you'll see it's limited the what it's moved the Y right down. Uh, so let's put that back. Okay, 
and in here let's add let's add a few skittles for this thing to knock over so let's add that to the library and let's drag these out here and we'll resize these a little bit perfect Pop this down here and let's get this into view. I'm just going to use the keyboard commands to duplicate these A to move it to, to duplicate it to the left, D to go to the right. Um, and you do have to be on the same axis as the things you want to duplicate. So I'm going to go W there, hit that W and W. Okay, and uh, let's just offset these a little bit. And should we create one more at the front? Make them look a bit more like traditional Skittles. And we'll pop another one in there, another one in there. Okay, uh, let's give those a color. Yeah, excellent. You know, you could. This is um, this is the beginnings of a of a pretty good game here. Uh, you know, you could have points for knocking these off. Uh, you could do a lot of things with this. Um, we could explode when those when the ball touches them. Uh, you can watch the other tutorials to find out how to do that. Um, yeah, we could also uh, when the Oops, let's, whoa, we didn't want to do that. Uh, we could add a sound in here so that when the, uh, let's do if collide, if collide, uh, let's add a sound. Let's go and grab one of these sounds. Um, yeah, what should we go for? Uh, Let's just uh, use that for now. So we're going to put this in, and when the um, when the bat hits the sphere, we should we should play a sound there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, let's let's do that one instead. Uh, I like the sound of that better. Yeah, excellent. Uh, and let's change the color of our paddle. Make things look a bit nicer. We'll go with an orange paddle. And we'll change the ground color. You know, very quickly we've got the basics of a game shaping up here. Uh, let's go and add. Uh, I'm going to add another one of these. Ah, and there's that build box bug again that we hit in one of the other tutorials, where it doesn't actually add in. Um, it doesn't actually add in the asset we want. Uh, let's just try a pyramid. Is it going to do that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're going to use pyramids for this. It, to get around this bug, you can save and reopen the file, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to carry on regardless right now. Um, so I've hooked up an explode node to this. Um, if collide, I would probably want, we're probably going to need an if collide because it's if, the, if it collides with the ball, then it should explode. Otherwise, it's going to explode if it touches anything else like the ground or another or another skittle uh, debris explosion let's add in the pyramid i say yes um, 50 of them that seems a bit much 0.2 just changing the scale yeah so the ones the ball hits they yeah they shatter which is pretty good um, yeah, so uh, I don't think I'm. Mm. 
<laughs> let's uh, yeah we could use we could use a bell sound uh, let's see uh, sound oh, hang on we're in the wrong we want to be in the cylinder let's add sound so on collide uh, and collide it's going to play that yeah ideally we'd want an explosion sound there but considering uh or we could add in another pop sound let's drag that in and see yeah that works quite well uh, And I might change this sound over here for that little shh sound. Let's have a go at that. Oops, we just need to hook that up, hook that back up. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to leave it there and you can download this file from buildboxacademy.com. Uh, and I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions do ask in the comments below. Okay, that's it for this one and I will see you in the next one.